Hi guys, so welcome to our new video. So continuation lang to ng our last topic. So we define or we started with algebraic substitution. So nagsulat tayo ng first three cases. So na or rules ng algebraic substitution. So na in this video, pupunta tayo sa algebraic substitution rule number four. Ay pa yung form natin ngayon. So, if the integrand contains the expression, so, ito ay same lang halos nung rule number 3. Pero may slight difference. What is it, guys? What if yung sum nung m plus 1 over n dun sa uh, last rule natin, hindi siya integer, fraction, or decimal yung maging sagot niya. So, or hindi siya whole number. So, that's why uh, rule number 4 ang magagamitin nyo pag let's say, ang nangyari is hindi siya integer so, ang gagawin nating test ito ngayon, so, same lang condition still, m and p and q are whole numbers or integers and, and, and letter n and letter q should be always greater than 0 or positive so, ang mangyayari, so, ang test natin ngayon, so, m plus 1 over n plus p over q so, magdagdag na tayo na p over q and it should be an integer. Okay, so, pag na-satisfy ang condition na to, so, ang substitution natin ito, x raised to n, z raised to q, is equals to a plus bx raised to n. So, ito lang din yun. Where, n, of course, ito yun. Sa function natin din, n, q, ito, denominator ng raised, ng integrand na to, then yun na siya. Okay, that will be our substitution. Okay, so to apply this formula or this rule, so let's try to solve problem number 4 or this function. So our function now is the integral of dx over x squared multiplied by 1 plus x to the 4th raised to 3 fourths. Okay, so kung mapansin natin, halos same uh, condition nyo last time, ha? so meron kang you have a variable x raised to an exponent m and a function inside na high, high order uh, function so naka raise sa isang irrational exponent which is 3 fourths okay. so to simplify this one, we need first to do an inverse, so pagbaliktarin natin, so gagawin natin to uh, we have to write this into this uh, form. So, gawin natin. Uh, kunin natin itong denominator. So, let's make this one. So, gawin natin x to the negative 2. So, kunin yung inverse before we do the substitution. So, 1 plus x to the 4th raised to negative 3 over 4. So, kinuha natin yung denominator. Okay? Then, so what's next now? So, we identify our n tsaka m. So, ano yung m natin? m is, of course, negative 2. Then, we have n as 4. So, we have p as negative 3 and q as 4. So, ayan. So, we try to test now. Let's say, apply natin yung rule number 3. So, let's say, apply uh, algebraic substitution rule number 3 which is yung m plus 1 over n so dapat integer yan uh, let's try so m is negative 2 plus 1 over 4 so negative 2 plus 1 negative 1 over 4 so it means hindi siya integer so automatically this integ this function falls under substitution 4 rule number 4 so let's try uh, apply Algebraic substitution 4. So, yun, tayo natin to. So, m plus 1 over n plus p over q. So, that is, so, negative. So, ito, ito yun. So, negative 1 4. So, diretso na natin kasi ito. Ito na yun. Plus p, which is negative 3 over 4. So, of course, pag inad nyo yan, so, negative 3. So, negative 1. So, it means an integer. So, automatically, it falls under number 4. So, ang substitution natin ngayon ito. Okay. So, let's try. So, 
uh, substitution tayo so x uh, raised to n so x ano n natin 4 and z so ano yung natin 4 pa rin is equals to ax plus bx and sa ating kukunin to ito yun so yung 1 plus x to the 4th and what's next so we need to solve this in terms of uh, x so we fact we divide both sides by pwedeng uh, transpose natin yung uh, negative 1 sa kabila Haba. Uh, let's try to transpose muna so gawin natin uh, Okay, well, ito. x to the 4th z to the 4th minus x to the 4th is equals to 1 then we factor out yung common which is x to the 4th so magiging x to the 4th is equals to ay sorry factor out natin x to the 4th common z to the 4 minus 1 is equals to 1 and we divide both sides by z to the 4th minus 1 z to the 4th minus 1 so yun na so sa likod so cancel out na yan so magiging ito na sya it will become x to the 4th is equals to 1 over z to the 4th minus 1 then if we take the 4th root so x is magiging the 4th root of 1 over z to the 4 minus 1. So, ayan. So, pwede natin simplify yan. So, let's go to the uh, next page. Ayan. So, tuloy tayo substitution. So, ano yung naging function na natin? So, it becomes your x now becomes uh, of course, 4th root of 1 is 1 pa rin naman yun. So, 4th root of z to the 4 minus 1. Or, you can take the reciprocal so pwede niya nga tiyan so it becomes x is equals to uh, z to the 4 minus 1 negative 1 over 4 so yun yung ating maiging substitution x so yung x value na to yun yung i uh, i-replace natin dito sa x na to then of course itong papalitan na ito ito na siya uh, so na yun. Uh, ito so this one papalitan natin ito ito part na to x to the 4 z to the 4 and yung x squared papalitan natin ng ito yung x dun okay eh sir how about the d dx so kailangan maging z din yan diba so lahat yan kailangan maging function of z so using this we need to differentiate so, we get the, the differential. So, derivative of x is dx and using power formula with chain rule. So, bring down negative 1 fourth. Then, z to the fourth minus 1. Then, negative 1 fourth minus 1 is negative 5 over 4 times derivative of inside function which is 4 z cube. Then, derivative of z is dz. Then, magka-cancel out yung 4. Then, our integral is dx is equals to negative z cube z to the 4th minus 1. Negative 5 over 4 dz. So, yan yung ating ipapalit ngayon sa dx itong part na to. So, we already now have the substitution. So, ipapalitan natin ngayon. So, we rewrite now the function. So, it becomes integral of So, yung dx dito, guys, papalitan natin ito. So, negative z cube z to the 4th minus 1 raised to negative 5 over 4 dz over So, yung x dito, papalitan natin ito. So, magiging, so, lagyan natin ng quantity. Uh, z to the 4th minus 1 raised to negative 1 4th raised to 2 diba? kasi 2 yun ang squared kasi 
Then, itong 1 plus x to the 4, papalitan natin ito. Multiply by x to the 4, z4, raised to 3 fourths. Ayan. Sorry. 3 fourths. Okay. So, if we raise now, so, integral of negative z cube z to the 4 minus 1 negative 5 over 4 dz over so square so magiging z to the 4 minus 1 so cancel out lang naman yun so negative 1 half then ito cancel out yung 4 so magiging x cube z cube so ano lo kapansin nyo guys meron pa tayong x dito Diba? So, sabi ko nga, before you integrate, so, kailangan lahat ng x mawala dito, function of x. So, how do we com convert this into a z function? So, we need again to substitute this x value dito. So, magiging integral of negative z cube z to the 4 minus 1 negative 5 over 4 dz over so, ito okay na yan. So, z to the 4 minus 1 negative 1 half times so yung x na to papalit natin sa loob so quantity or bracket uh, z to the 4th minus 1 raised to uh, neg sorry, negative 1 4th raised to cube so yun so pinalitan natin yung x na to then multiply by z cube of course yan so, kung mapansin natin, may magka-cancel, di ba? So, pwede mo na cancel yung itong z to the cube, z to the cube. Then, pag multiply mo ngayon dito. Since, if you multiply 3 here, so, you can factor out the negative sign. So, so negative 1 fourth, raised to thirds, so, mag-multiply. Negative 3 fourth. So, if you multiply them, what is negative 3 fourth plus negative 1 half? So, it becomes negative 5 over 4 so yun so ano sya uh, write natin ulit so so nilabas natin negative sign so it becomes c to the 4th minus 1 negative 5 over 4 dz over so z to the 4th minus 1 negative 1 half so pag nirace nyo yan dito magiging z to the 4th minus 1 to the negative 3 fourth na siya. Then, what's next? Uh, uh, we need to multiply now. So, of course, pag nagbut sin same base, so mag add yan. So, negative 1 half plus negative 3 fourth. So, negative 5 over 4. So, we need to not have a paper. So, yan. So, tuloy natin dito. So, it becomes negative integral of. Uh, yan. Kapag natin. Z to the fourth minus one negative five over four dz over so if you multiply nga yan, so same base mag a add the exponent so z to the fourth minus one raised to negative five over four eh since pareha siya so cancel out one na lang so our integral now is become dz na lang and what is the integral of dz negative z plus c sorry tapos ako ba hindi pa so, we need to replace z by function of x. So, ibabalik natin ulit yun. So, our final answer will be what? So, ibabalik natin yung ito. Yung z natin. Ha? Di pala yan. Where's our z? Ah, uh, wait lang. Very good. So, we need to in terms of z. So, wala pa tayo in terms of z yata. Okay, so let's, uh, in terms of z tayo, so wala pa pala tayo. So, kunin natin tong, itong, itong part na to. So, we need to replace z by function of x. So, going back, so going back dun sa ating equation kanina, which is x to the 4, yung substitution natin, 1 plus x to the 4. So, we need this in terms of z naman. So, divide both sides by x to the 4th, x to the 4th, so cancel out, so it becomes z to the 4th is equals to 
1 plus x to the 4 over x to the 4. And if we take the 4th truth of both sides, so z is equals to uh, the 4th truth of 1 plus x to the 4 over x. And ito yung papalit natin dun sa z. So the final answer is becomes negative 4 fourth root of fourth root yan. So, 1 plus x to the 4 over x plus c or, kung hindi kayo malito, pwede nyo gawing exponent. So, negative 1 plus x to the raised to 4 uh, 1 raised to 1 fourth over x plus c. And this will be our final answer. Ayan. Okay guys, so so, by doing a substitution, so we can simply eliminate some functions, function of z. So, dito guys, malaman yung tama yung sagot nyo. If after substitu substitution, is na simplify nyo yung equation or yung function mismo, yung original integration. Pero, let's say, after doing the substitution at may mali kayo, or let's say you have an error somewhere here. So, yung algebra, usually guys, algebra lang problema. A lot of students, they have a problem doing algebra manipulation. So, pag mali kayo yung algebra manipulation, hindi kayo, lahat hindi, you cannot go here, guys. So, magkakamali, magkakamali kayo. So, yung maiging resulting integral nyo is non-integrable. So, mahirap i-integrate. Okay. So, yun, may clue na kayo if uh, just a check kung tama ba yung pag-simplify nyo. So, very important guys talaga na praktisado-praktisado kayo pag-manipulate ng equations at ng functions. Then, yun na. So, we need, we need to get the equivalent z value. So, using the uh, original formula, yung substitution natin na x to the 4. Ayan. So, rewrite ko lang ulit. So, x to the 4, z to the 4 power is equals to 1 plus x to the 4th, which is based dun sa ating uh, original na substitution, di ba? Sa rule number 4. So, we need uh, uh, this time we make this in terms of z. So, ito na yung kinalabasan. Then, ito yung substitute natin dito. Then, we arrive at the final answer. Okay, thank you guys. So, on our next video will be uh, discussing naman yung remaining 3. So, 5, 6, and 7. Thank you, guys.